Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how you can use DSCRS uh, in a few steps. So let's start. Now when you want to log into the DSCRS you're going to see multiple things here. On the left side you see the home, then report, when you're going to see like all the uh, reporting of orders. Then you can find suppliers here. You can see also supplier optimizer and you just like find similar products using the AliExpress URL. Then you're going to see the product and import list. We will get to it too. Then you would see orders here like pending or waiting order or those that you have to pay for. And then you're going to see the affiliate here as a reward season that you can mm, share a request rewards here. And then you're going to select the new feature. So this is how the basics of DSCRS works. Now, when you would come here, you can link to more stores. I'm not going to show you how you can actually like connect it with your Shopify account because it's like really simple. All you have to do is just go in apps and visit Shopify app store and just like download the application. The one thing I recommend is just like downloading extension from Chrome or Safari. I have Chrome, so I'm going to install Chrome, so you can use it, add extension. Okay, now I see it here. I'm going to just log in. And voila, here I am. So this is how you can simply do it. And now what you can do is this, so how you can actually import the product. First, you can use the find suppliers directly in DSCRS or you can uh, find it and find similar product when you just like copy the link from the AliExpress website. So let's say that I have, I don't know what I'm going to, like these shoes here, right? What you can do first, you just simple import. Okay, I'm going to stay because let's say that I want to, I want to find another product or I can go with a, case and here i gotta see that okay for iphone 12 i'm going to import it too what you can do is to click here for supplier optimizer and just it's going to automatically paste the link and you just have to wait until it's going to load and you're going to see all the similar products uh, this is a huge advantage the scrs got uh, comparing to different different tools like the scrs that you can actually find similar products that you can like which are going to be cheaper and you can buy it from those suppliers if you find it trustworthy when you're gonna import i'm going to products and import list here i will see uh, the product that i'm imported and then i can edit product i can delete it i can add text to it or i can split it into multiple products so what can i do i can simply edit the product here and now I can change the title. I'm going to move my camera a little bit so you can see everything. You can select the store. Then you can add the collections that you created in your store in Shopify. You can add a type text vendor. This is all what you can actually add in DSCRS. Then you're going to see variants here. Then I automatically uh, get it from like DSCRS AliExpress store description. What I really like is it's going to automatically get also the photos and this is huge because plenty of tools are not getting those photos and here you're going to have it. Then you're going to see images and then shipping info. Now what you can do is when you would edit everything with the variants, with the products and that you can change the images. I can come here and push to Shopify and here. So this is the Shopify store that I created and I'm going to add a product in. Pricing rule applied to this product. If you have manually edited the product price on this, please uncheck this box. So this is going to be directly from AliExpress and also publish to online store. What you can do is to directly publish it. And now push to Shopify. And when I would go here to Shopify to all products, I can see it right here. I can see it's active. I can see the description here and I don't have to do anything, right? What can I do now is to simply go to my online store, go to catalog and here I'm going to see my product and I can simply add to cart and I can view the cart here.
and you can simply check out right so this is how you can actually do it and now how to actually pay when you're gonna check out it's really simple also what you have to do is when you're gonna have like be my products you see that these are imported i can click on orders open and here you're gonna have like pending and then you can like simply pay for it and then what you need to do is like pay and then you're gonna be here in aliexpress trade when you're gonna open the account in aliexpress or like connect it with your dscrs account and you can simply pay now so right now payment methods i'm going to pay one million of dollars which is pretty effective and pretty cheap <laughs> So again, I click here pay a month and I just paid. And this is pretty much it, how it works. It's really simple. I don't know what else should I show you guys because I think it's like intuitive what you can actually do and how we can actually use the SCRS. In my opinion, it's much better than Oberlo. And here, like when you would use even the extension, when you're gonna surf it by yourself and the experts that you're not going to uh, use in, in the SCRS, you can simply come here and add to the SCRS. And right now, as you can see, AliExpress product import success. And I go here back to the products import list and voila, here it is. I can again edit the product or I can simply split it into multiple ones if I want to. I can split it by variant or by option. And then I can simply edit the product if I desire to, right? So this is pretty much it how we do it. Now, uh, what I also like is that they just choose a free plan. If you're just starting out, you don't have to actually pay. And even when you're going to have like 7,500 7, products, it's still it's going to be good. And the pricing is like really cheap comparing to Oberlo and others. Uh, now, I don't know what else should I show you. I just wish you the best guys and definitely focus on those Facebook ads, Instagram, TikTok ads and sell your products there. But definitely be wary of what kind of products you gonna sell. That's like kind of really important because many times people are selling products. Uh, people are just selling products which are not, I would say, Mm, effective and good they're just like drop shipping, drop shipping everything they see and also what i recommend is just like sell products that you actually understand in that way you're gonna like win big and have a good product it's going to take time to actually find it but when you're gonna find it you can win big so thank you guys for watching i hope this video was helpful have a great day and goodbye see ya